the safest one you can do, and it's probably one of the most effective. <coughs> so you got C1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, and 7, and then you got T1, where the first rib will come in, <coughs> and then you're trying to gap the facet joint on the left and on the right. Okay? So that's what you're trying to do is gap that one, but you probably get the T1 and 2 as well. It's difficult to treat these, but this technique will sometimes get <coughs> two or three stiff segments to release quite nicely. And it is one of the safest ones you can do because no rotation in the neck. Yeah, and it's very, very safe. Even though you might have a disc issue, this, is, this shouldn't irritate as long as you do it the way I show you. Yeah? So, right, what, now we'll, we'll do it. Interlock your fingers behind your neck. Right, elbows forward. Right, you need to relax as much as you can. So from here, all right, so squeeze him in. Relax, do nothing. What's now? want to lock him in. And at the end, thrust him. Oh. Okay? <laughs> 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 Yeah, it's great.